So, we're going to create a book report about a scene from the book Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Harry Potter lives with his aunt and uncle who make him stay in a tiny room under the stairs. So first, let's recreate the little room under the stairs. I'll make a new co-space and I want to create a scene for the merge cube. Let's start with a blank empty scene. Here's the merge cube, but I'll move over here for now so that I have more space to work. To build a room under the stairs, let's start with, well, the stairs. They're in the housing category under other. Adjust the stairs by using this arrow and drag it longer. This looks about right. We can always change it later if needed. Now let's adjust the materials a bit. I think the stairs look good, but I'd like to change the railing a bit. Maybe like this. Next, I think we should build a construction to fill the space under the stairs. Add in a cuboid from the building category. To move the cuboid around freely, disable snap to grid in the menu here. Now we can start adjusting our cuboid to build a frame underneath the stairs. It's a bit hard to see at the moment, um, so let's give it the same material the railing has. Keep in mind that we customized the railing's material, so we'll need to save it to our custom color palette. When we go back to editing the cuboid, we now have access to that same color. We want to leave a gap in our construction under the stairs so that Harry can enter his room. So instead of increasing the length of this cuboid, I'll make a copy of it by holding down the ALT key and dragging the cuboid along. Switch out of translation mode and shorten and position your new cuboid. Next, I want to build some upward structures acting as a frame. The easiest way to do this is by making another copy of a cuboid and turning it by 90 degrees. Let's reactivate Snap to Grid to ensure we're turning the cuboid by exactly 90 degrees. Then, deactivate snapping to move freely and move your cuboid into position. Adjust its height to make it fit under the stairs. Next, I want to make two copies and move them into position to frame the opening to the room under the stairs. They're a bit too high, so shorten them to fit underneath the stairs. We have the basic structure, but still need to fill in the gaps. We could simply adjust the length of our cuboids to fill the gap, but I want these inner parts to have a different color, so I'll make another copy and lengthen the new cuboid to fit the gap. Let's change its color to make it the same as the stairs. For this, we didn't customize a color, but just chose a pre-made one, so we can just choose the same color again for the new cuboid. I'm not too happy with the way this corner intersects here, so I'll reduce the cube's width, copy it to the right, and make it a bit smaller so it fits underneath the stairs. Now we're facing a new problem. We have a triangle form to fill up, but there's no object in the library that fits our needs perfectly, but what's great is we can create one. So let's use this building block to start with. I want it to have the same width on top and bottom, so I'll scale both to a value of 0.15. We can give this building block a material to better see it. I want the flat bottom side to be aligned with the upwards beam here, and the easiest way to do this is to attach it. Scale up the flat side to fit under the stairs and up the height of the building block as far as you can before it starts intersecting with the staircase. As you can see, we're left with another triangle shape to fill in, so we'll repeat this step. Take a copy of your shape, detach it, and attach it again to the lower beam. Then repeat the steps to make it fit into the hole. Like I said before, let's make this part nicer so that we can't see these intersecting lines here. To do this, I'll place another beam along the slant of the staircase. Copy one of your beams and move and rotate it to the desired position. 
Great job if you've followed along so far. That's already quite a complicated structure you've managed to build here. So let's continue with adding a back wall. I'll use a new cuboid for this and start with choosing a nice material. Maybe this one? Um, no, let's take this texture for our walls, but with a different color, more like this. It should nicely fit with the Dursley's home. Adjust height and length and move it into position. I think the pattern is a bit too small compared to the size of the stairs. Let me show you a little trick on how to change this. Scale the cuboid up as a whole, making the texture scale up as well. Then, use the arrows to shrink the cuboid to the desired size again. See how the texture stays bigger? Let's move the wall a bit to block away the back part of the railing here. Now, for the other wall, let's take a copy of this one and rotate it into position. As you already know, we'll need snap to grid for this to make a perfect 90 degree rotation. The wall is now positioned properly, but there should be a gap up the stairs. Let's decrease the width of the wall to create the needed gap. To fill out the remaining gap here, let's copy the wall and reduce its height. Okay, we're done with the surrounding walls. Let's start with building the inside of Harry's room under the stairs. I'll put a carpet in first. We don't have a ready-to-use carpet texture, so let's take this grass and change its color so that it looks like a carpet. Place it inside and adjust it to fit under the stairs. Harry needs a bed, so let's see what we can find in the library. This bed should work fine, but maybe in another color. Like this. Rotate it along the grid, you know the drill by now, and place it into position. It looks a bit small and should probably rather fill out the room, so scale it up as you like. I want to add a small shelf behind the bed, maybe this one. Or let's just take the one that's already filled but not in this clean white color. Turn and position it. Time to bring in Harry Potter himself. Let's see what we can find in the characters category. This boy will be fine and he already has glasses, so that's perfect. I want to change his shirt's color a bit, more like this dark blue. The pants can stay as they are. The skin I will also leave at the value that is already set, but the hair should be black, even darker than this. Yes, rather like this and the eyes already look fine. Our character should be a bit bigger to fit the scale of our scene. He could sit on his bed and read a book. I guess there's not much else he can do there. Let's use search to quickly find what I need from the library. This book should be open and attached to his hand. Attach Harry to the bed Okay, good. Perhaps one more detail. This wall appears very empty and could have a picture hung up. And what other pictures would the Dursleys put up there if not one of their little Dudley? We can use this window frame as a picture frame. Let's go to upload and here you can upload a picture or search the web for a picture of Dudley. Attach it to the frame. It doesn't quite end up where I expected it, but we can just adjust everything a bit so it fits nicely. Attach the picture to the wall, nice and big, and there we go. Just one thing left. Select your entire scene and place it onto the merge cube. Grab your phone and look at your scene in augmented reality.